So whilst I'm still waiting for my Master Blend parcel, I wanted to show you my garden from the upstairs, one of the upstairs bedroom windows. Now, that's my UV protection shield outside my back door. Underneath there, just there, is my back door. This is my kitchen window that you see in all the videos. The sink area is just beyond that point there. This is the garden. It's very big and it goes round in an L shape. Over there is my drive, driveway. And you can see it's pretty much like a blank canvas at the moment. Now, when I moved into this Victorian house, there was nothing behind the house. Now there is that block of flats there. It's three floors, so you've got ground one and two. See the balcony there with the glass kind of like thing, it's overlooking me. That building there are storage sheds. And over there, just behind these trees, is a huge bus garage. The underground tube station is just over there. And so it runs underneath. It runs right underneath my house, the Piccadilly line. So that's a bus garage there. Literally just before I started filming, there was buses pulling in and uh, there's none now, <laughs> typically. But anyway, so there was, when I took this house, there was nothing here. It was all woodland and it, it was a huge area owned by the London Underground. But now, in the last five years, this has sprung up. Bus garage has sprung up and we're full of pollution. So when I grow things down here, you can see that huge area of mud there, that big square, that was last year's herb garden. I've dug it up because I'm going hydroponics now. I've got my plants there growing in that window there, all coming along really, really well. But yeah, so I've gone hydroponics and I'm waiting for the master blend to arrive because pollution is a real issue out here. Now my father's bought me a greenhouse, which I'm going to put up there on just so it backs into the driveways just there. You can just see the, the fence there, the driveways there. I'm going to put the greenhouse there because that gets all the heat. And uh, you can see I've got quite a few washing lines here. My son put up last weekend and they are, you know, where I dry my laundry. It's really nice. Those are apple trees, which have recently been pruned, but my garden, all this area here gets full of apples and it all overhangs. They're, they're all apple trees. You can see the blossoms, it's gorgeous. Um, but o over there, Around in front of my washing up window, there's a window around the side there, it goes around in an L shape. There's huge holly trees, which because they were doing all this building work over there, they wanted to, you can see the edge of the holly tree actually there, look, at the side of the house. I've fought and won for that 154 year old holly tree not to be removed because it's in my it's on my boundary. So they had to seek my permission to do it. And they actually offered me money, the local authority, to come and do that work, but I refused it. Good thing I'm not money orientated, isn't it? But yeah, no, the tree can stay. It's a huge holly tree, see there? It is taking up a huge area, but for me sitting under there is really nice because it's all shaded. And then for UV protection, I sit under there. I've got. I've got a stone bench that is more than a hundred years old under there where I sit. You've seen me talk from there as well. But yeah, pollution is a real thing from that bus garage and from all that extra traffic over there. When you plant food out here, it, it turns gray. It's got like a gray sheen to it. So I don't grow a whole lot out there. So hydroponics is uh, changing my life one day at a time. And I've actually got food. I had my first crop of um, 
fresh coriander last night uh, with, uh, with our family meal. Today we're going to have the fresh thyme plant that I shared earlier. And yeah, it's really, really um, exciting. It's an exciting time and I'm, I feel abundantly thankful for this space. And this is a blank canvas that I'm going to transform with my growing systems over the next few weeks. And I wanted, so I wanted to show it to you while it was still a blank canvas. So despite the soul destroying <laughs> extra pollution that's coming off of all these things up behind that wall there, um, yeah. I'm, I'm over the moon with this and I'm really, really abundantly thankful.